Hi ladies, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, golf ball pigs. I don't have one completed yet, this is going to be my first time doing it, so bear with me here. Um, so for supplies, you're going to need either white or pink golf balls. I went ahead and got these pink ones here. They're nitro, um, you get 12 in a pack. Um, you can use a golf ball laying around that you have or your dad or your grandfather has. You can use any kind of golf ball as long as it's either white or pink. And if it's white, get either a paint marker or a bottle of paint and paint it pink. Um, I used, like I said, I used the pink golf ball here and then I'm going to use the pink um, painter's pen paint marker here and that's what I'm going to be using to paint for the feet and the ears. Um, you're obviously going to need your glue gun. You're going to need a black marker uh, whether it be a black sharpie or again a black painter's marker. Um, you're going to need a pair of wire cutters or extremely 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 sharp scissors. Um, I went with wire cutters because none of my scissors are good for cutting uh, pistachio shells. And that's what you're going to need is a bunch of pistachio shells from either pistachios that you have eaten. Or I think you might be able to buy just regular pistachio shells in a craft store. I'm not sure. And then you're going to need buttons that go with the color of the pigs that you are doing. Um, mine kind of go with this ball but they're a little like they're a slight shade different so it'll stick out a little bit but I went ahead and got this one it's got 20 buttons in it I think it was like 97 cents at Walmart so for the ears you're gonna take a full pistachio shell and I went ahead and painted mine for the most part if I don't drop them they're very slippery. Um, to clean them off, I used baby wipes. My fiance, her husband, or whatever, we eat the salted pistachios, so I wanted to clean them off with a baby wipe or something to where I know that they were clean and the paint was going to stick to them. So I just take like the, the smooth side, because there's a divoted inside, and then there's like a smoother side. I take that and right at the paint, right about the size that I want it, like right there, I'm going to cut. And it's going to fly off, like everything is just going to go flying, that piece that you just cut off. And this is fairly, fairly smooth, but I'm just going to go and kind of trim it up a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so a little bit of the paint chipped off. So I'm just going to go back with my paint marker. Shake it up first. And just um, kind of touch that up. In those spots where the paint chipped off. And I went ahead and painted the bottom part. But it doesn't need to be painted. So you just set that down and let it dry. So first you want to decide where the bottom is going to be and where the ears are going to go and the eyes and the mouth and everything. Mine has writing in two different spots, three, three different spots. It's got Nitro 4 written on two sides. And then it's got this unlimited, unlimited, Oh, ultimate distance written on one side so I think I want that to be the the bottom yeah so I'm gonna have the ultimate distance be the bottom and one of the nitro fours is where I'm gonna glue my button as long as the, the button fits so I'll go ahead and open my buttons Honestly, I think they should give you buttons in a resealable bag because who's going to use 20 buttons in one day? If 
I can get a button. There we go. Okay, so it's got like the shiny side and then it's got a dull side. So the dull side is gonna go on the writing. So yeah, that'll actually look really good where that's at. So you wanna take your hot glue gun and I'm just gonna put a dab, dab of glue on the top and bottom. This way it's not like seeping through the holes here. So I got part of a pistachio shell on my, on my glue gun. So just add a little bit of glue on the top and on the bottom. And go ahead and glue it onto your golf ball. So that's my button. Um, I, it was really, really hard to find pink ones that had just the two dots. For some reason, Walmart didn't want like they don't it's like they don't believe in two hole buttons all i could find were like four hole buttons and i'm like i don't want that i need the two hole for my cute little piggy that i'm going to be making and i just i couldn't find any anywhere so now you want to take your two pink pistachios and you want to figure out what side you want to have for what feet um, in the video, th or the, the post I saw for this, they had, like, wooden legs, but I figured just use pistachio shells because why not? I have them. I have a bunch of them. <laughs> I saved them for this um, video. So, I found out where I want to put my legs. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the pistachio. And set the pistachio down and put glue on my other one. Spread them apart however I want them. And you want to set your golf ball down on top. So you've got little feet now. Trying to get it to stick. Well, that didn't work. The paint came off of my pistachios on the glue on the golf ball. So, I'll just peel this hot glue off, which thankfully we can do. And my nose fell off too. So, this might be a bust for this tutorial. So we'll go ahead and try this again. I don't know if it's just the golf ball or if my glue wasn't hot enough or something. Yeah, I think it's the golf ball. The glue doesn't want to stick. So. It's kind of a bummer. I'm going to try putting the glue directly on the golf ball. This time instead of on the button. And putting the button on there. to my liking. Okay, so I didn't want to do that because you can see the glue through the nostrils or through the buttonholes but I think it's holding it a little bit better. So, 
we'll go ahead and try the feet again. Um, I guess the paint doesn't like to stick to the pistachio shell. So where the paint chipped off is where I'll put my glue. And hopefully it will stick this time. Because I would really, really, really love to add a couple of these to my pig collection. Yeah, I don't think the glue is going to stick to the pistachios. You might need to use super glue. Yeah, I'm going to end up having to use super glue because this hot glue is just not working for the feet. So I'm going to try to put the ears on. So again, you've got like your half pistachio shell. And you want to put it like right here one on each side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fill this back here with a decent amount of hot glue and I'm going to just let that dry. So while that one's drying, I'm going to fill this other one up. Maybe give it a little something to hold on to. So we'll go ahead and do the eyes. For me, I'm just going to color in one of these divots that look good. So I think we'll go with this one and this one. So you've got two little eyeballs there. Trying to make it so there's not a glare. But... I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's kind of crooked, but that's okay. So, see if our ears are... Yeah, okay. Now I'm just going to add some glue to the bottom where it was cut. I'm going to glue that onto the golf ball. I think the the ears are going to stay. So there's one ear. Set our golf ball down. Then we'll grab our second ear. And we'll kind of line this bottom here. Just like that. And we're going to glue that ear on as well. Um, whenever I went to go do this, I didn't have a bottle of pink paint to paint the pistachio shells. I kind of wish I did, but I do didn't. So I just have to use, again, this painter's marker. So the ears and feet are going to be a little bit brighter than everything else. But, there's the ears. Now if I could just get the feet to stick, that would be great. Um, I'm going to try just doing one at a time. Maybe the glue's not hot enough or it cools down too quick. I'm not sure, so I'm going to just try gluing one foot on at a time. Okay, put glue on my other one. I think I got that one to stick decently. Set it down on a hard surface and press it down. Okay, they're not the best, but they'll work. Uh, so this is just 
my little piggy. Um, he does stand up. I'll show you guys real quick. Can you see him? Oh, I can't see where you guys can see. Piggy. Um, so I guess this tutorial wasn't a bust. It took longer than I was hoping it was going to. Um, if I ever make it again, I'll probably just use super glue for the feet and let them sit overnight. So like you can get your nose and your, your eyes and ears and stuff glued on with your hot glue gun. But I think I'm definitely going to use super glue for the feet because the feet just do not want to stand. So that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down below. Um, other than that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Um, have a good day. Bye.